This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Brew About Nothing. So last week, during our instant deck decks, it was the crazy infinite creature, infinite mana, standard combo deck, Power Stone and Zeppler that was most popular, which means this week we are heading to Dominaria Standard to see if we can win by making infinite Cogwork Assemblers <laughs> with tons of mana for Power Stone Shard. So like usual, quick two-minute deck deck just a refresher so you remember how the deck works. If you want to see the full breakdown of the deck, make sure to follow the instant deck tech link down below. You can see the full breakdown of all the beauty that is Power Stone Assembler combo. Anyway, a quick reminder before we break down the deck. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy Much of Brew in general, it would be spectacular of you if you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Power Stone Assembler. And the main idea of this deck is we are going to make lots and lots of Power Stone Shard. So Power Stone Shard, three mana, taps for mana for each Power Stone Shard we control, which is one out, man, so just a mana rock, with two out, gets a little bit better. The idea of this deck is we are going to get a bunch. We need at least three Power Stone Shards, preferably even more than that, because our main game plan is to get all these Power Stone Shards and then keep copying them with Cogwork Assembler. So let's say we have three and a bunch of lands on the battlefield. The first one we copy makes four mana, then the next one makes five mana. Eventually, as we keep copying these Power Stone Shards all in the same turn, they're going to be tapping for more mana than they cost to make. So they cost seven to make, but they're tapping for like nine mana, then 10 mana, then 11 mana. So this gives us infinite mana. And then after we make infinite mana, we just use Cogwork Assembler to copy itself, Splinter Twin style or copy cat style to make an infinite number of hasty attackers swing at our opponent win the game that way so that's kind of the main plan of the deck tons of mana with power stone shards by copying after we get 200 ish mana floating we just copy cogwork assemblers and then kill our opponent with the attackers we can also just win quicker with walking ballista so if we can't win by attacking with our cogwork assembler we just make a bunch of mana dump it into ballista ping our opponent to death we can also do this as kind of a backup combo with paradox engine if we can't go infinite infinite it, but we get a bunch of mana rocks out. We cast some stuff, tap and untap, generate a bunch of mana, make a huge ballista, ping our opponent to death that way. The other main aspect of this deck is making sure we have as many power stone shards as possible. So for this, we have Mirage Mirror, which can copy a power stone shard, Trophy Mage, which directly tutors up power stone shard, or Cogwork Assembler, if we already have enough power stone shards. Glint Nest just digs to find our power stone shards. Otherwise, Treasure Map, Search for His Content, just hold everything together with some filtering and card advantage. Fumigate, Seal Away for removal to help us stay alive long enough to assemble our combo. Commit to memory can let us shuffle everything back in. Also kind of a counter spell. Mana base, Inventor's Fair, more tutoring, a bunch of dual lands, some basic lands. Sideboard, Antiquities War gives us another artifact tutor and also a backup win condition. We just turn all of our random treasure tokens into five fives and our power stone shards beat our opponent down. Angel of Sanctions, Authority of the Council gives us more removal and hate against aggro. Negate and Hope Agura for, for control. And that is the beauty of power zone assembly combo for standard and that's our bunch of brew deck for this week so let's jump into the gameplay so you can see if this deck actually works thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you soon all right much brew about nothing time playing some power stone assembler wombo combo in standard and all right i mean no power stone shards but we got a crane to dig for one we got ballista for kind of early game removal and we got our one paradox engine just in case that becomes relevant. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, I think our opponent's probably storming. And I, well, okay, we'll see. We'll see. It's a combo raise. We don't have any counters in our main deck. So we're just essentially gold fishing. Opponent passing. We'll play Glacial Fortress, play Glint Nest Crane. Go digging. Well, there's a treasure map. That's not the worst. Pass the turn. Solver falls for our opponent. Uh, inspiring statuary. Mana getting intense. Not super confident with how this matchup's gonna go for us. Opponent passes. More Mirage Mirrors. We'll play Glacial Fortress. Play Trophy Mage. Go digging for Power Stone Shard number one. Pass the turn. Well, let's see if our opponent can kill us. Tap land. Opponent passing. We'll go to combat, go attacking, hit our opponent, 
Play Inventor's Fair. Play Power Stone Shard. Play Treasure Map. Pass the turn. We're not that far away from trying to do something. Problem is our opponent is probably not that far away from killing us. If they have Joyrut, it gets really scary. All right, Reservoir. There's a Sram. Draws a card. Or no, gain some life, rather. We might just have to kill Sram, unfortunately. Opponent passes. We draw planes. Hmm. Man, we are so close. So, if we think about this math, we play Mirage Mirror. We clone Power Stone Shard. We have four mana. We play Mirage Mirror. The question is basically, do we kill this Sram to try to keep our opponent from going off? Or do we try to combo off ourselves? Well, play the planes. I guess the other option is Mirage Mirror, copy Power Stone Shard. We have four mana, four mana, Walking Ballista, kill Sram. But then our Walking Ballista is down. If we can just run out all of our Mirage Mirrors, our chances of winning next turn are actually fairly high. Especially with Inventor's Fair for potential tutoring and Paradox Engine. Well, play Mirage Mirror. Copy Power Stone Shard. Uh, all right. We're going to take the, the more conservative route. It's just too risky. It's too easy for our opponent to kill us if we let Saram live. Go attacking. And hope we get another turn. If we untap next turn, things get pretty interesting. Opponent. Passing. Yup. So we gain a life. Now let's see if we can piece together a win from here. Another treasure map. So we play Mirage Mirror. We copy Power Stone Shard. That uses all of our mana. Power Stone Shard, copy Power Stone Shard. Four. Hmm. We can copy Power Stone Shard. Four mana. One, two, three, four, five. Paradox Engine, untap. One, two, three, four. Hmm. All right, so I think we copy Power Stone Shard. Play Paradox Engine. Oh, we can't quite win this turn. Treasure Map, untap. So tap for mana. Scry with Treasure Map. Another Power Stone Shard. Wait, do we have enough mana? We play Mirage Mirror, untap. All right, put on top. Play Mirage Mirror, untap everything. Copy Power Stone Shard. Tap, tap, cycle. Draw Power Stone Shard, scry with treasure map. Oh, man, so close. We need one more turn. Cast Power Stone Shard. Man, we ended up so close to the win. Well, let's see if our opponent can kill us. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. We just don't have a way to draw. That's our problem. Opponent blocks. Yeah, pass the turn. See if we stay alive. Opponent untaps. This is... This is the turn. Opponent's got to basically kill us here, or we should win. Opponent. Passing? Passing is good. We like passing. Well, scry with treasure map. We're keeping commit to memory, though. Keep it on top. Scry with treasure map. Opponent scoops it up. Who we got there. Pony did not find the combo pieces. Well, we did get to go infinite, but we were going to draw seven cards, and we were probably going to win from there. Ooh, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, opponent's playing Storm Combo. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Uh, so against this deck, our creature removal doesn't really do much. So go down Fumigates, go down Sealaways. Then I think what we want to do is bring in all the Negates, 
bring in... I also don't know about Icy Manipulators, honestly. We might go down Icy Manipulators, go up Antiquities Wars and Angel of Sanctions. Maybe we go three Antiquities War, four Angels. Something like that seems reasonable. We don't really lose any combo power. We just lose ways of dealing with creatures. I guess Icy Manipulator... <sighs> I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, let's let's try it like that. Well, that went pretty well. Surprisingly well. All right. On the draw, we got a shard. We got our sideboard stuff. We'll try this. We're a little light on lands, but we do have a treasure map to upkeep scry if we're desperate. We don't have great ways of disrupting our opponent's combo, though. Opponent probably also brought in more counters, I would assume. Logging Ballista. Well, that'll be good in the late, late game if we get to it. Land go. Opponent. Island. And Prophetic Prism. Yep. Opponent passing. Not a land. Well, I think we just have to treasure map. We gotta hit our land drops. If we don't hit our land drops, we're not gonna win. So treasure map go. Oh, come on. No inspiring statuary. Prophetic Prism. All right. That's better than inspiring statuary. Opponent's just kind of churning through their deck. Well, let's upkeep scry. Try to find a land. Ballista gotta go bottom. We really, we need a land here. All right. No luck. Uh-oh. Oh, not like this. Not like this deck. <sighs> we were really trusting in the scry to save the day. There's a Joyra, and yeah, we're super dead. Mox Amber. Yep. If we had drawn lands, we might have had a shot, but without lands, no, no chances. Now scry with treasure map. Opponent just gets to draw their entire deck. Boy, to the bottom. Well, there's a land. Unfortunately, it's just been way too late. Glutness Crane, go digging. Two lands to the bottom. Grab another treasure map. Negate also to the bottom. I'll pass the turn. Yeah, if this deck gets to untap with Joyra, it just, it wins. There's very little chance of it not winning now. So let's sit back and our opponent get, oh, Paradoxical Outcome 2. 11 cards in hand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mox Amber's back, draws a card. More Mox Ambers, more cards. More Mox Ambers. Good lord. Well, apparently all the Mox Ambers were on the top of the deck. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you draw, I don't even know, 14 cards this turn or something? Inspiring Statuary. Yeah, it's pretty much time to scoop. Kills our, okay, yeah, kills Treasure Map, and we will just concede. There's not a realistic way of us winning from that point, with, especially without Treasure Map mana. Ah, uh, all right, run it back. Ho we are on the play this time. Hopefully we uh, we draw some lands, can actually play some magic. All right, this hand's pretty good. We have Search on turn two to smooth out our draws. We have Negate to stop Inspiring Statuary. And then eventually we have Antiquities Wars. So start with Farmland, pass the turn. This is the kind of hand I think we want to see against this deck. This might actually just be a hand where we attempt to win with Antiquities War, really, rather than the combo. Inspiring Vantage. And Implement of Improvement. Opponent passes. A Glacial Fortress, get down search for his Kanta. Pass. E old turn. Mountain for our opponent. A little bit awkward with the mana. All right, Renegade Map will be able to fix it. Opponent passing. Search for his Kanta. Irrigated Farmland. Yeah, we'll mill it. Glacial Fortress. I think we got to pass for now. Power Stone Shard is tempting, but it opens our opponent up. The one easiest way they can win this game, I think, is resolving Inspiring Statuary this turn. Gets an island, plays the island. Opponent passes. Search for his Kanta. Yeah, let's mill for now. Inventor's Fair. Play a Plains. This is a weird turn. I think we gotta pass one more turn and leave up the negate. Then next turn we can Power Stone Shard and make sure negate's up. Mm, boy. There's the Joyra that we can't answer. That's not good. That's not good at all. Search for his Kanta. Mill Glint Nest. Play an Island. Play Power Stone Shard. Pass the turn. Now our opponent's going to get to start drawing cards, which is pretty bad for us. 
Well, we're not going to let that resolve. Counter Ether Flux. Opponent does get to draw a card. Plays a land. And passes. Could use a way to get rid of Joyra, which is Angel of Sanctions, I think. Hmm. Trophy Mage. I think we got a mill and dig for Angel. Treasure Map. Oh, play Inventor's Fair. Play Antiquities War. Go digging. Take a Power Stone Shard. You know what? If they can kill us, they can kill us. Play Power Stone Shard. Play Treasure Map. All right, opponent. Shields are down. I mean, we could have tried to bluff, but it's not doing anything anyway. So here you go, opponent. The coast is clear. Go crazy. Go crazy. If you can kill us, then you can kill us. Prism, draw a card. Opponent is pinched on mana. Inspiring statue. Statuary is the card that we're most scared of. Ornithopter, that's a free card draw. Renegade map, one mana card draw. So they need it statuary now, or they're out of mana. Opponent, passing. All right, so start with search for his Kanta. Mill treasure map. Scry with treasure map. Hmm. Keep walking, Ballista. Inventor's Fair triggers. Gain a life. Draw Ballista. Go digging with Antiquities War. Treasure map. Well, I think our plan is Ballista X3. Playing around Metallic Rebuke. Play Treasure Map. Opponent has Negate. No, oh, kill Joyra. Pass the turn. Oh, man, what a close match. What a tense match. Land for our opponent. Paradoxical outcome. Gonna do some drawing and some bouncing. All right. Mox Amber, no legend at the moment. Ornithopter, yeah. There's the statuary. Okay. Oh, boy. Unfortunately, unless we can set up our combo, we can't win this turn. So search for his Kanta. Mill the land. Transform search for his Kanta. So one, two, three, four, sack. One, two, three, four, five. All right, gain a life. Our stuff becomes creatures, unfortunately. Glint Nest Crane. Ooh. Let's think about this. One, two, three, four, sack. One, two, three, four, five. All right, stuff becomes creatures. I think we got to hit Paradox Engine. So we end, uh, one, two, three, four, sack this, one, two, three, four. All right, so I think, oh man, I think we got a Glint Nest Crane. Go digging for something. Oh, it whiffs. And I think that's most likely game now. Oh, that was brutal. That was not good. That was not good at all. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, play Antiquities War. Oh man, Glint Nest Crane betrayed us hardcore. Get a Power Stone Shard. Play a Power Stone Shard. Yeah, I mean, all now all we can do is pass and hope that we don't die. Scry with Treasure Map. Yeah, we'll keep it. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Oh, all right. I mean, I expect we're dead this turn. Pony gets to untap with so much mana, so many cards. Yep. Opponents taking advantage of their free mana. Another Joyra. So now everything they cast adds mana or is free, essentially, and draws a card. Well, we'll see. We'll see. So that costs one mana since they can tap it for Renegade Map. Yeah, that doesn't tap right away. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, Ornithopter. That's a ritual. Plus one mana. Literal desperate ritual for colorless mana but still oh 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 renegade map draws a card opponent draws a million cards the only good news is they need to get really lucky to be able to play another ether flux reservoir they need to hit essentially every mox amber in their deck and maybe they will just do it and then we lose ornithopter so they probably i mean maybe that's the power of mox amber is they probably will be able to piece it together from here all their ornithopters all their card draw oh so frustrating ah looks like we're a turn short against the opposing storm deck antiquities war interesting finds another mox amber they literally have to hit all four 
they have to hit all four Mox Amber. They're drawing a million cards, so maybe they'll do it. But they have to have the other two to be able to cast Aetherflux Reservoir. And then any f- two free spells should win the game. Maybe. Maybe we survive this. Because our opponent, they have three Ornithopters out. They're gonna, they can draw their entire deck, but can they actually finish the game? If we untap with three Power Stone Shards, we should, actually four, because we have one on top of our deck, we should pretty much be guaranteed to win with Cogwork Assembler. Because we can tutor it up with Inventor's Fair, and we have, is our opponent passing? All right. Oh, well, I mean, it's going to depend on what disruption our opponent has. They do have enough mana to counter something. Do they find... Do they have a negate? Actually, negate doesn't do it. We got a shot. We got a shot. We might be winning this. Oh my goodness. Are we going to go infinite and outstorm storm? We wouldn't mind finding a negate along the way. That would be helpful. All right, so gain a life. Step one. Up to 23. So we draw another power stone shard. Now we flip treasure map. Glint nest crane to the bottom. It's getting getting put to the bottom anyway. Whiff with Antiquities War. So play Power Stone Shard. Sack Inventor's Fair. Can we go infinite? 10 mana to make the first copy. 4, 8, 12. I mean, we got to try it. Get Assembler. Play Assembler. Copy. Come on. Come on. No answers. No answers. Copy. Do we do it? Copy. Are we getting slow rolled or do we do it? Now we're making mana. Copy. Now we're floating mana each time. We got to not time out. Copy. Oh my god, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We just got to not time out. Copy. Whoa. Whoa, we did it. Oh my goodness. I did not think there was a chance. Are we still getting slow rolled somehow? Copy. Now each one, I mean, eventually they're just making so much mana. Copy. 12 mana. Copy. Copy. Oh my goodness, Power Stone Assembler! Outstorming Storm! Tap, tap, copy. <laughs> yes, 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 yes! I'm still waiting for the Nightmare. I think now that we have so much mana, though, I don't think our opponent can stop it. Because we have so much mana floating, I think the only way this goes wrong is if we is if we run out of time. And then eventually we're just going to copy this Cogwork Assembler about a million times, or enough times to win. But now, I mean, at this point, I don't think there's any any way that we can lose. Because we have so much mana that if our opponent tries to kill something, we can just keep going in response. Because we're up to like 30-some mana floating. So the only risk is timing out. But that's not even too much of a risk because... We now have Power Stone Shards that are going to tap for 20, and we have a bunch of them. So we're making, like, 100 mana from 5 Power Stone Shards. Look at this board! Tap, 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 tap. All right, we're almost ready to go for the win. Copy, 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 copy. We also want to make sure we end up with some number of untapped Power Stone Shards in case we need the mana. So make a bunch of mana. Now we go for the win here after making a few more Power Stone Shards. All right, so now we start copying Cogwork Assembler. Make it some hasty copies. Wow, I can't believe it worked. I can't believe we got there. I thought for sure last turn our opponent had us dead. I thought they had us. It's like Splitter Twin. Janky. <laughs> but it, it is like Splitter Twin. Assembler. Wow, it's actually working. Assembler. We just got to make enough to be lethal. Assembler. Uh, assembler. The only challenge now is not timing out. And we should be fine. Keep making Cogwork Assemblers. We got to make more than lethal just in case. We don't want to, like, make exactly lethal and then find out our opponent really did have a braid. Oh, man. Moto doesn't know where to put all this stuff. We have Assemblers going down to the Power Stone Shard level. Opponents let us play it out, so that's cool. You actually get to see how the combo works. And this is exactly it. This is exactly it. How many do we have? I don't think it's... Is it a lethal amount? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Well, we might as well use the rest of this mana. All right. So we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I guess that's enough. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent. Blocks. And dies? We got there! We got there! Cogwork Assembler! I thought we were so dead, but we out-comboed Storm! We out-comboed him! 
<laughs> oh boy oh man so the combo does work we got to see it we got to see exactly how it works so uh sweet 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 oh boy all right matcha brew time we are mulliganing playing some power stone assembler on the combo in modern and this hand is poo i don't know we get to scry it's really matchup dependent. We do have... Oh, we do not... We want to land desperately, but it can't be a second treasure map. Uh, this is going to be interesting. If we're in a matchup where seal away is good, then this hand isn't horrible. Assuming we find real white mana, not just this ether hub. If we're against control, this is kind of a nightmare. Although, mono black control, less of a nightmare, I think, if that's what this is, compared to a blue control deck. So treasure map hopefully helps find us lands. Ether hub. Uh all right. Constrictor probably. Siphoner. Yep. Opponents passing. Well, let's upkeep scry. Gotta find these lands. Icy manipulator, definitely to the bottom. <laughs> Deck. Deck, why are you doing this to us? <laughs> Oh, boy. All of the lands on the top of our deck happen to be colorless-ish. Opponent actually got to draw a card. Goes attacking. Well, we need to do this before they get energy and have mana for blossoming defense. So get rid of Siphoner. Opponent does get an energy, so they're, they might be having similar problems to what we're having. Adventurous Impulse. Dig in for a land. Uh, they find it. All right, opponent's mana trouble dissipating. Definitely dissipating. Lana War Elves. Well, upkeep scry. Not a land. I think we're going bottom, unfortunately. Well, play the land. Spend the last of our energy. Play Glint Nest. Get more treasure maps. Ugh, that's a lot of Fumigates going to the bottom. Also, our last Inventor's Fair, which is a little bit better. Would have liked to keep the Fumigate, but it's hard to not hit lands there. All right, opponent hits land number five. Ravenous Chupacabra. Yup. Opponent gets in. Now, let's upkeep Scry. Gotta keep the planes. Play a planes. Seal away Lana War. Play another treasure map. Pass the turn. Opponents. Maybe they weren't having land troubles at all. I don't know why we were thinking they were. Ballista X2. Well, we're going to have to find answers at some point. Opponent gets in. Yep. Untap. Upkeep Scry. Island to the bottom probably gonna need to find a fumigate glacial fortress well play glacial fortress play paradox engine not doing a ton at the moment or actually much of anything oh there's verderous six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen well i think we're to fumigate or bust now if they just dump all the counters on walking ballista yeah or somehow combo kill, but that's going to be super hard, even with this Paradox Edge. Opponent gets in, hits us. Down to nine, a virtual three. Well, sack of treasure. Got to find a Fumigate. We know at least two are at the bottom of our deck. It's a Plains. Upkeep, scry with treasure map. Search doesn't do it here. Gain a life. Draw Power Stone Shard. Play Power Stone Shard. Untap treasure map scry with treasure map we got to find the last fumigate and i actually don't think we have enough mana ballista doesn't do it we gotta it's gotta be all right it's a land oh that was rough that was rough i kind of wish we could have somehow kept our that fumigate i don't know about icy manipulator in this deck let's go down manipulators go up antiquid war hmm yeah run it back oh dear oh dear oh dear now our opponent gets to bring in sideboard stuff which is probably bad for us so yeah i feel like we had to scry that fumigate to the bottom because the biggest risk there is that we just would never hit lands and lose that way 
But then we ended up essentially just drawing lands every single turn. So I kind of, I think if, even though there was no way we could do it, if we had kept that Fumigate, we might actually, all right, we'll keep this. Uh, mostly on the strength of Search for Iskanta, we have zero mana rock. We're hoping our opponent does not have Duress. Island, goo. If they don't have Duress and we get down Search for Iskanta, at least that can find us our stuff. Llanowar Elves. And we do have a Fumigate that we're working towards, so. Glacial Fortress, definitely getting down Search for Iskanta right away pass the turn opponent probably as naturalizes now i would guess forest uh constrictor constrictor gets in with lanawar yep all right so search for his conta yeah we got a millet for now unfortunately play an island play trophy mage tutor up power stone shard so we can technically get back our cogwork assembler with Oh, more con more constrictors. Oh, not ballista. Not ball. Oh dear, that is a big old ballista. All right, opponent gets in. Well, we will chump. Search for his conta. Seal away to the graveyard. We actually just want to land, I think. Mirage mirror. We'll play power stone shard. Play farmland. Well, this is it. If our opponent can Gear Hulk, they might be able to just kill us here, I think. And we're going to die with the Fumigate in hand to the double Constrictor hand. All right, Ballista. So okay, 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 okay. This is okay. Like, we take a beating. It's a lot of damage. But we're not dead. We get two Search for Iskanta. Huh. We'll keep the planes for now. Play the planes. Fumigate. Yeah, opponent can do some pinging. But we gain back some life. Opponent's only got one card in hand. This Mirage Mirror is another... Yep, down to five. Up to nine. This Mirage Mirror gives us another Power Stone Shard. And we do have Paradox Engine. Impulse. Finds. Siphoner. Yeah, that's a little annoying. That does let our opponent draw. There's Siphoner. Sure. Opponent passing. Eh, let's keep Trophy Mage. Hmm. All right, let's first Glint Nest Crane. Take. Uh, all right, Walking Ballista. We're just going to play it a little slower. Play Walking Ballista. Kill Siphoner. Pass the turn. We could have started putting together our Power Stone shards, but I think it's more important to keep our opponent from drawing cards at the moment. Brontodon. All right. That is disruptive. Opponent passes. Search for his Kanta. Ah, we will keep Antiquities War, I think. So play Trophy Mage. Take a Power Stone shard. Play Power Stone shard. Pass the turn. We're actually pretty close, although... We can't actually win because we don't have Cogwork Assembler. Opponent gets a land. We will throw everything in front of this Brontodon if it attacks. No attacks. Opponent passes. All right. Search for his Kanta. Uh, we'll mill the planes. Treasure map. So play Mirage Mirror. Oh, opponent scoops it up. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, we got to win. Our opponent didn't make us go through the combo, but... Whew. Fumigate. That's what we need. We needed the Fumigate. Well, yeah. Run it back, run it back, hope for the Fumigate. Fingers crossed. Pony had a good start, too. All right, no Fumigate, but we got Search and Treasure Map. A little slower on the play, but hopefully, 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 we find a Fumigate and reset. And we have lots of ways to dig for Power Stone Shards, so that's good news. Pony goes to six and keeps. All right. All right, deck, let's see if you can do it. Swamp for our opponent. And duress. Well, the good news is we have both search and treasure map. So we're still going to get down one, most likely. Treasure map. Interesting. I guess that kind of makes sense because treasure map works with the artifact synergies more and untapping synergies that our opponent saw. Ether hub. Energy. Always with the siphoner. That's a good way to draw cards. I'll play glacial fortress. Play search for his conta. Pass the turn. Opponent. Do they draw? They draw. Down to 19. Yep. Woodland Cemetery. Another Siphoner. Well, this is probably going to be about finding a Fumigate again. Gets in. Gets an energy. Down to 18. Search for his Kanta. Mill Glint Nest. 
play Glacial Fortress, play Trophy Mage, grab a Power Stone Shard, pass the turn. Pony gets to draw. Oh, this is scary. It's going to be about this Fumigate. Do we find a Fumigate in time? We can't block these because of Menace. Let's leave Siphoner. It's one of the best bad bobs. Maybe the best bad bob that we've seen. Adventurous Impulse. Finds a land. Plays the land. Adventurous Impulse. Brontodon. More Siphoners. Good lord. Opponent gets in. Oh man. We're going to need this Fumigate. And we're going to need it pretty soon. Search for his Kanta. Mill Glacial Fortress. There's a Fumigate. That's good news. Play a Plains. Play Power Stone Shard. Play Glintness Crane. Take a Power Stone Shard. Lands to the bottom. All right. All right. This is this is basically the turd. This is the turd. Does our opponent find a Duress? They get an extra draw. If we get to resolve this Fumigate, we're probably good to go on and win this game. Most likely. We know they have a Brontodon. Opponent just... Okay, Ballista, sure. That's okay. That's okay. Hopefully that means no duress. Yep. Opponent kills it, so they can go attacking. Sure. Hit us for a ton. Get a bunch of energy. Search for his Kanta. Treasure map. Yeah, let's mill it. Play an island. Play Power Stone Shard. Fumigate. Pass the turd. We got this Kanta flip. We cleared the board. We got the mana. We're super close. We're super, super close. Opponent plays a land. Jade Light Ranger. Goes exploring. More Brontodons. So they are going to be able to start killing our stuff at some point. Leaves it on top. Opponent passes. Well, search for his Kanta. We will keep Antiquities War. We will transform search for his Kanta. Play Ether Hub. Get an energy. Play Antiquities War. Go digging. Take a Walking Ballista. Play Trophy Mage. Go digging. Take Cogwork Assembler. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. We're close. We're close. We're super close. Our opponent, it's going to depend on what they blow up here. They get to blow up something. There's Brontodon. Let's see if they go after Antiquities War. Go. They do. Okay. It is possible we go infinite this turn. We will chum. It's possible. It's possible that this is it. We get to go digging. Well, Seal Away is fine. It doesn't help us go infinite, though. Untap. Fumigate. So we can't go infinite yet. So let's just wait. Let's seal away. Get rid of Jade Light Ranger. Search for his Kanta. Take Power Stone Shard. Play Power Stone Shard. Play... Ballista. Pass the turn. All right. All right, opponent. All right, opponent. We got the mana for next turn. We got the mana for next turn, I believe. We should be able to go infinite. We would like our opponent to tap out. Jade Light. Woodland Summit. Come on, play that Bronodon. Play that Bronodon. Tap out. Tap out. Opponent's not going to tap out. Opponent passes. Farmland. A removal spell would get us here. We'll play cock. We're going to go for it. Copy. Copy. Do we get it? Post scoops it up. Cogwork assembler. Take that green black constrictor. It's working. It's working. We're doing it. <laughs> it's actually working. Scoop him up. Well, I'm glad we went for it. I was worried we didn't have enough mana to activate twice. So instant speed removal on Cogwork Assembler or Power Stone Shard would ruin it like a naturalizer or something. But whoo, <laughs> the deck works. It works. It works. It works. Sweet. Uh, Wow. Okay. Sweet. All right. Much brew about nothing time. Playing some. Uh, we need one more land. Uh, Power Stone Assembler combo. Hmm. Man, I would love this hand if we had one additional land, but I think we got to ship it with one. Oh, okay. Scry for land. Ooh, not a land. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, come on back. Lands off the top, please. For several turns in a row. Island for our opponent. And Siren Storm Tamer. All right, Mono Blue wins. Land. All right, it is a land. So let's just glint Nesquid. We mostly need one more land. That's our big missing piece. Two lands to the bottom. We get a walking ballista. If we draw lands to start to play this power stone shard, we're probably in okay shape. 
Also, worth mentioning that, oh man, opponent's gonna get blown out. Oh boy! Oh boy, that's not how Curious Obsession works. Shame scoop? Shame scoop. Uh, let's power zone shard. Opponent was not expecting the flying blocker. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, Curious Obsession. It has a little used hidden mode on it. Yeah, opponent just said apparently the card has more tags. Yeah, no one thinks about that. You just think of it as a curiosity with upside, but there is a downside where if you didn't attack with a creature, you gotta sacrifice it. And I think this Glintness Crane is just going to jank out this game. I think our opponent was counting on that to find lands. Now let's trophy mate. Go digging for another Power Stone Shard. Can't really blame our opponent. Very possible I would have done the same thing. I don't think I have ever seen a Curious Obsession get sacrificed for. I think that is literally the first time. And I've seen it in a lot of decks the boggles deck mono blue wins so yeah uh that's <laughs> pony can't feel too bad because that's a huge mistake to make with this card so many ices i'll play power stone shard this might have been a mistake it's possible that we should have just yeah we probably should just wrath there with walking ballista instead of playing power stone shard the upside of this is it is gonna let us start <laughs> Tapping our opponent out of this game with Ice Manipulator, which with only two lands going Russian in port mode actually seems like it might be pretty good here. Opponent. Passion. Yep. I'll play Manipulator. Pass the dirt. I guess we can start getting in with Trophy Mage. We're going to leave Glint Nest back just in case. And then upkeep. I guess it's kind of a combo with Seal Away too that we can tap it. Aw, opponent. I'll tap Storm Tamer. Yeah, we're not going to Seal Away it. I guess we should just not have done that. I guess our opponent's just to the discard hand size part of the game, so they might as well just cast stuff. Opponent, passing. Well, get in with Trophy Mage. Play Manipulator. <sighs> All right, opponent counters. Yeah, we can't pay. Sure. I'll play Treasure Map. At least we can start scrying. Manipulator is pretty punishing if you are having land trouble. <laughs> just tapping a land every turn is a huge deal here. We're not super far away from winning the game. Also, Treasure Map turns on Inventor's Fair Life gain, which is nice. Bonnet. Passing. Oh, favorable wins. All right, well, let the scrying begin. Don't really need another Fumigate. So upkeep, scry. All right, we'll keep more Treasure Maps. Play Treasure Map. Get in with Trophy Mage. Opponent will draw out of their mana screw eventually. However, we're about to flip multiple treasure maps, and then we will get to start drawing. Whew, favorable wins. Yep. No attacks. Well, scry with treasure map. I think we just go for... <laughs> I think we just go for combo pieces. I think we have so much mana. So, flip treasure map. All right, there's Mirage Mirror. That's good. Gain a life. Draw a Mirage Mirror. Play Mirage. All right, let's think about this. Untap. Can, is there any way we win here? I don't think yet. So play Mirage Mirror. Uh, pass the turn. We're actually getting really close to going for it, though. We have three Power Stone Shards. So we have plenty of mana. We can flip another treasure map if we really want to. I think if we find our Cogwork Assembler, we just win. Found it. Passing. Yeah. Scry with treasure map. Glint nest. Um, I guess that's fine. It gets us three deep to find another power stone shard. So Mirage Mirror Power Stone Shard. Play Glint Nest Crate. It's possible if we did math we could have won here. There's a power stone shard. Oh lordy. Uh well I think we win next turn. Play Power Stone Shard. Play Icy Manipulator. Treasure map. Yeah, we might have... It's possible we should have been more aggressive here. We will keep commit to memory. And, yeah, let's just pass. We definitely, definitely, definitely can win the game next turn. I don't think... I mean, barring our opponent having a counter, but if we keep commit to memory, I think we can even do it through a counter. All right, nimble obstructionist. Sure. That's fine. Opponent. Untaps. If our opponent taps out, we definitely have the combo kill. And that's a tapping out. Well, that should be game, boys and girls. Opponent. Passing. Well. All right, let's just go for the win. So we untap. Draw commit to memory, which we don't even really need. So actually, let's just do this now. Sack Inventor's Fair. 
grab our cogwork assembler untap sack sack hopefully we have enough mana mirage mirror on power stone shard play mirage mirror copy power stone shard oh yeah we should have we should have more than enough mana to win the game i think so this taps for 20 so play cogwork assembler oh yeah we got it easy copy power stone shard easy easy wombo combo copy power stone shard tap tap copy power stone shard man this combo is actually working like our opponent's hand was not very good this game but it's been working in other matchups too i do not really believe this is working so well <laughs> it's it is like standard splinter twin it really is copy power stone shard copy power stone shard tap 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 copy power and a pawn scoops it up i think they figured out what was eventually happening and that was quite the performance this stack is working we're doing it we are we are really 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 doing it uh okay mono blue wins i see manipulator almost seemed good that match maybe we're just set up well enough without changing much opponent's probably going to bring in more counters do we want to counter their counters i guess is the big the biggest question i think the answer is maybe <laughs> angel of sanctions is probably fine hope a gurupur eh. gonna get blocked negates the big one do we want negates let's go up and negate go down a icy manipulator and yeah let's just run it like that i have been very impressed with how well this deck is working like maybe shocked that was out of mulligan all right i mean we're gonna keep this a little slow if our opponent has a very fast hand we're gonna need to find a fumigate opponent passing there's our one negate <laughs> not looking super helpful here land for our opponent and there's favorable wins clock is fast but it gets in oh uh, land power stone shard uh-oh play treasure map pass the turn island for our opponent and tempest Gen. wow we're gonna need to resolve this fumigate really quickly i don't even know if we can upkeep scry i think we have to luck into a land and play power stone shard well we did luck into a land that was a pretty big draw play power stone shard our opponent still has a super fast clock but at least we have some out of getting to fumigate maybe a curious obsession opponent goes attacking draws a card yup 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 down to nine no more threats no more threats oh more storm tamers treasure map to the bottom this is bad news untap treasure map i think we're dead irrigated farmland to the bottom yeah i think we're just yep all right well then that was a much better start for our opponent angel of sanctions is still probably too slow i think we just appreciate the fact that we're on the play and run it back all right we get to play first and okay this is a pretty reasonable hand we have a flying blocker we got treasure map we got some lands we got a removal spell maybe our opponent doesn't have favorable wins for once so we'll try this farmland you island for our opponent and there's the storm tamer like always a play of planes and we're just going to glint nest crane get a little defense up take a power stone shard power stone shard number one pass the turn we do have our paradox engine too maybe we're heading that direction all right war kite marauder opponent passes 
Another Inventor's Fair. Oh, play Inventor's Fair. Play Power Stone Shard. Opponent can't start getting in damage, unfortunately. Because they can make this Glinton S. Crane into a nothingness. Tempest Shin. All right. Opponent's getting frisky. Down to 17. We're going to need a Fumigate still in the gate. Well, I guess we seal away. Get rid of Warkite Marauder. Play Treasure Map. Play the Tap Land. Pass the turn. All right, come on, Fumigate. It's all about the Fumigate. If we can clean the board, we should should be able to piece it together from here. Otherwise, Tempest Gin is just a fast clock. Curious obsession. Interesting. Goes attacking. Now we will block. Down to 14. Okay, Aerialist. Well, Fumigate? I think we don't upkeep Scry. We just hope that it's Fumigate. Trinket Mage. Or Trophy Mage. Ugh. Hmm. Alright, so let's... Play Trophy Mage. We're going to have to give up on an Inventor's, uh, Inventor's Fair, unfortunately. So Trophy Mage gets us a Power Stone Shard. Yep. So grab Power Stone Shard... Uh, Legend Rule, Inventor's Fair, play Power Stone Shard. And ship the turn. So we're hoping we scry into a Fumigate. That's our I win card. Fumigate with Negate backup. That's what we want here. Otherwise, life will be interesting. Alright, Pony has Tempest Gen. Well, do we find a Fumigate? That is the question. We do get to double scry for it. So, opponent. No attack. Oh my god, no attacks. Alright, well, that's good. Let's scry with Treasure Map. Treasure Map to the bottom. Untap, upkeep, scry with treasure map, fumigate, island to the bottom, fumigate, fumigate, island, not to the bottom. We'll play Paradox Engine. Play an island, pass, ye old turn. Oh boy, we need this fumigate. We need the fumigate. That's an island growing the dorks. Ugh. I think we have two turns potentially. We either need fumigate or we need to. F oh my god. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's not good. That's not good. That speeds up the clock. Opponent. Attacks, 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 attacks. Hmm. Do we got a block here? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Doesn't matter. All right, block Storm Tamer. This is a moment of truth. Opponent passes. We gain a life. We scry with treasure map. 
Glacial Fortress, definitely bottom. Get some treasure. Oh, come on. Come on. Fumigate. Oh, my God. It's a fumigate. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my literal God. And now we should win. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. We scried just enough. Hit our opponent. Fumigate. Untap everything. Oh, we should have left Inventor's Fair up. I forgot about the untapping. Oh, well. Clear the board. Pass the turn. And that should be enough. We would let, actually just like to find Commit to Memory, I think, is our best card. Up to nine. Opponent passes. We gain a life. Mirage Mira. Wait, can we go off from here? So play Mirage Mirror. Untap everything. Well, let's just draw. Let's draw a card first. Draw a card. Oh, that's a Power Stone Shard. Okay. So Mirage Mirror, copy Power Stone Shard. Actually, we overtapped. Now I think we might do it. Copy Power Stone Shard. Tap, tap, tap. Play Power Stone Shard. Untap everything. Tap, 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 tap. Sack Inventor's Fair. Oh, yeah, we're doing it with... I think we're doing it with uh, Counter Backup. Grab our Cogwork Assembler. Play Cogwork Assembler. Untap everything. Essence Scatter. So we negate Essence Scatter. I guess if our opponent has two counters. And opponent scoops it up. We got there. Power Stone Assembler keeps the winning train a-running. Timely, timely, timely Fumigate. Whoo! All right, we'll take it. We will take it. Sweet. All right. Much to brew about nothing time. Playing some Power Stone Assembler Wombo Combo. And this hand's pretty good. We're on the draw, but we get to... Glintness Crane, maybe? Into Power Stone Shard, into Trophy Mage for Power Stone Shard. So we have a lot of Power Stone Shards. Uh-oh. Mono Green. Oh, Merfolk. Interesting. All right. Well, let's see if we're fast enough, or if we draw a Fumigate. Those are the two the two big questions. <sighs> Ballista might be all right. Island Goo. Opponent might be Land Light. I'm not sure why else they would Oasis as their first land. Or they have no other untapped lands, maybe? All right, it's an island. Pumps, Kumana Speaker. Another Kumana Speaker. And a Miss Cloak Herald. Well, going to be about getting down a Fumigate on time. Bonnet. Gets in for two. Sure. Down to 18. We will see. I don't know if we're going to be fast enough on the draw. Play the planes. Hmm. Awkward. All right, let's just Ballista X1. Now we can block and kill the Miss Cloak Herald. Next turn, we can Power Stone Shard. And then we're up to five mana to potentially find a Fumigate. Ugh. I'll kill Miss Cloak Herald. All right, we're taking six. We need this Fumigate, Prawn 2. One of our next two draws to have a shot. Opponent gets in, and our opponent not to have a counter. Down to 12. And passes. Fumigate. Glint Nest Crane. I'll play Planes, play Power Stone Shard. Pass the turn. All right. Fumigate off the top one time. One time. Unclaimed territory. Untapped. Oh, another lord. Well, opponent's got no, no blue mana. Well, all right. We got to draw Fumigate this turn. 
That's it. We get one draw step for Fumigate. If we hit it, we win. If we don't hit it, we lose. All right, runs out Branch Walker. Well, it's all about the Fumigate. That's all that matters. Uh, come on. Come on, deck. You can do it. Fumigate? All right, it's a land. And we scoop it up. Well, that was a really, really fast Murfolk hand. And we were on the draw. So, eh, what can you do? Not much. And those matchups were really dependent on hitting a Fumigate. Now our opponent's probably going to bring in a million counters. Manipulator does not seem good to me. Let's go down Manipulators, go up two Negates, try it like that. We might need Negates to force our Fumigate through opposing counter spells. All right, we're on the play. And we'll keep it. We have a Fumigate. Our mana's a little awkward. Hopefully Treasure Map can take care of that. So Island Goo. We also have a Seal Away, which isn't bad. Okay, opponent passing, discarding hand size. Discards a land. Uh, all right, looks like misclick of some kind. I'll play Ether Hub, get an energy, play Treasure Map. Pass the turn. I think our opponent thought they were passing our turn when really they were passing their turn. Opponent passing. Well, let's treasure map. Looking mostly for dual lands. Negate to the bottom. All right, Glacial Fortress, goo. Well, especially with our opponent skipping a turn, we should be should be in pretty good shape. Forest. And Silvergill revealing Trickster. That's fine. Opponent passing. Well, treasure map scry. Glint nest to the bottom. Inventor's fair, run out our Mirage Mirror. Pass the turn. Oasis for our opponent. And, ooh, Deep Root Waters. That's a little scary. Opponent gets in, hits us. Down to 18. Well, let's flip Treasure Map. Still looking... Hmm. Yeah, let's go bottom. There's Power Stone Shard. Let's cash in a treasure. Yeah, yeah, cash in one treasure. Play Power Stone Shard. Seal away, Silvergill. Pass the turn. Unclaimed territory for our opponent. And more Deep Root Waters. That's going to be a lot of Hexproof Merfolk tokens. Uh, and a one drop? Good golly. Okay, well, we're going to have to win pretty soon. Opponent passes. We gain a life. We draw. Glintness Crane. So copy Power Stone Shard. Sack Inventor's Fair. Get a Power Stone Shard. Play a land. Play Power Stone Shard. And pass the turn. Next turn, we're probably going to have to Fumigate. Unless we think we can just pass, tutor up, Assembler, and win. Which might not be impossible. Bonant. Silvergill, make some tokens, draws a card. Opponent gets in. 
down to 15. Yeah, 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 yeah. And passes. We'll gain a life. Play a planes. So copy power stone shard. Fumigate. Put negate back on our opponent's deck. Clear the board. And yeah, I guess we glint nest. Oi, mono lands. All right. Well, lands to the bottom. Pass the turn. See what our opponent has. Deep brutally make some merfolk. Humanus Beaker makes a Murfolk, gets some counters on some Murfolk. Good lord. Are we going to just need another Fumigate? Never ending need of Fumigates? Yep. Yep, yep. Huge board. Opponent passes. Uh, Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we spend two. Yeah, we don't have enough mana. I think we just need to... I think we just need to draw. Gain a life. See what we draw. Ooh, co Cogwork Assembler. Huh. Does that change things? So we got to spend two to turn this into a Power Stone Shard. Then we have nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this costs 10. The first one will make four. Oh, this math hurts my brain. Oh, good Lord. So let's think this through. We do this. Turn this into Power Stone Shard. 3, 6, 9, 10. So we play and copy. We get a Power Stone Shard that taps for four. Five, six, seven. The next one taps for five. So we're a mana short, I think. I believe. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I think we need fifteen mana with this amount of power stone shards. Four. So ten. Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. So this taps for nine. We sack the treasure. We have four mana left over. That plays in copies. The first one taps for four mana. So four, we got to use three lands, five, six, seven. The next one taps for five mana, five, six, seven. And then we're, we're one mana short. So I guess this means we, huh, what if we, we could sack in Venner's Fair to get another Power Stone Shard? One, two, turn this into Power Stone Shard. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Would that give us more mana? I think that gives us less mana. We'd have no mana, but we'd have another Power Stone Shard. We'd have to tap one to cast it, so we'd have 3, 6, 12 mana. So we cast it. The first one's going to tap for 5, 6, 7. We're still, still exactly one short. I'm probably going to get yelled at because I'm probably miscounting here or something. So, all right. I guess that means we need to... Turn this into a Power Stone Shard. Draw a bunch of cards. We did find a Fumigate. Play Glacial Fortress. Play Fumigate. Play Mirage Mirror. And now next turn, if our opponent taps out, we should have the win. Opponent did just get a whole new hand of cards, though. Which might incentivize them to just dump their hand. But now with four Power Stone Shards, potentially, we have enough mana that we can tutor and just go for it. So hopefully our opponent just... Cast their stuff. Kumana makes a merfolk. Sure. They have to. They got to feel like they got to rebuild. Come on. Cast that last card. No, they're going to leave it up. All right. Opponent passes. Inventor's Fair. Up to 31. Oh, we drew a negate too? That, that hopefully does it. So 
Plague Glacial Fortress. Turn this into a Power Stone Shard. Turn this into a Power Stone Shard. Sack Inventor's Fair. Get our Cogwork Assembler. Play Cogwork Assembler. Start the copying. Come on. Come on. All right. Keep copying. I think we got there with this treasure giving us negate backup. Copy. Oh, man. We made it. It took two fumigates, but we did make it. Copy. And now we're breaking even. And now our power stone shards make mana. And now we win in any number of ways. We can make infinite... I guess we just make, I guess we just do both. I think we make a ton of mana, go infinite, cast a lethal walking ballista, and then also have infinite cogwork assemblers just in case something goes wrong. Whoo, cogwork <laughs> assembler, power stone shard, we're getting it done. So copy, copy, making lots of mana. They're up to tapping to 15 after this one. So I think we go through one more loop. And then we cast the Walking Ballista with enough mana left that we can can keep comboing if we need. All right, good enough. So Walking Ballista, we got to spend 40 mana on it. Oh boy, we got there. X11, X12, X13, X14, X15, X16, X17, X18, X20. All right, Ballista X20. And game? Bonus groups it up. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, we got there. It was not pretty. It was not beautiful, but we did get there. We needed both fumigates and a commit to memory. All right, run it back, run it back. See if we can keep winning with this deck somehow. I guess our opponent did skip that turn, which worked in our favor, obviously. But a win is a win is a win. And <clears throat> this hand's not great. Two lands, no shards, although double trophy mage. I th I think it's just too slow. We're going to mulligan. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now we need two lands. All right. Well, we're trying this five. It is not, not the dream draw, let's say. Uh, our luck might have run out. Opponent passes after playing a land. Uh, apparently we had two trophy mages in a row on top of our deck. I'm still not convinced that it's a bug that happens. I, I don't know. It does happen more. It seems like it happens more frequently. Kimana speaker. Opponent. Passing. Land. It is a land. Well, let's walking ballista. Kill speaker. Pass the turn. Botanical sanctum. Eh, deep root elite. That is a scary card. Ooh, and another speaker? Yikes. Pumps deep brutally. Opponent, passing. I'll play a planes, play trophy mage. Power stone shard, number one. I think this is still going to come down to fumigating, I think is the bottom line. Especially on the mold of five. That's one of the few, few ways that we can get like a three for one and maybe undo the mulligan. Opponent. Silvergill revealing deep root. Uh oh. Yup. Growing the dorks. Opponent. Getting in with Kumana Speaker. Sure. Down to 17. Opponent passes. Well, let's seal away. Get rid of Speaker. Pass the turn. There's a land for our opponent. Deep root. Pumping the dorks. Opponent, getting frisky. Well, we're trying again. Seal away. If they got a counter, then they got a counter. At least it gets a, a counter out of the hand for a future fumigate. Opponent spends the counter. Well, now we're working towards a potential fumigate to win the game. Opponent passes. Play Inventor's Fair. Play Power Stone Shard. Play Cogwork Assembler. Pass the turn. We're not anywhere near actually comboing off at the moment. Oasis. Two cards in hand. Oh, not Kimana. It's Kimana. Double pumps with Deep Root. Yeah, we're back to being Fumigator Bust by the looks. Especially with Kimana drawing cards. Yeah, opponent gets the counters, gets the counters. 
That is a big old deep root elite. Opponent gets in. Now well, let's block. Take zero. Uh, opponent's representing counter mana. Opponent passes. Fumigate. Farmland. Oh, cycle farmland. Play treasure map. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Opponent gets to draw a card. Yup. Ugh. I think it's slipping away. Well, it kind of slipped away when we mold the five, but now it's almost officially over. Miss Binder. Pumping the dorks. If our opponent has a second counter, then I'm pretty sure we just can't win. Opponent goes to combat. Tax with everything. I will block. There's no way we can combo, so... It's all about hitting a Fumigate and our opponent not having another counter. Although, I'm very worried that they do have the counter. Glacial Fortress to the bottom. Untap. Treasure map. Island to the bottom! Man, more lands. And we scoop it up! Oh, the dream. The dream is dead. <sighs> Feels like a hard matchup. Hard, hard matchup for this deck. All right. Much brew about nothing time. Playing some <laughs> Power Stone Assembler combo in standard. And we'll give this a go. It's not the worst hand I've ever seen. Memorial of Folly. Fumigate. Well, Planes go. Treasure map is mostly holding this hand together, and the fact that we have an irrigated farmland means we're not as as floody as it. If this is mono black, the good news oh man, another power stone shard. The good news is, apart from killing cogwork assembler, they can't really interact with our combo. Like, mono black does not do well against artifacts. Dredgehade? Ballista X1. Sure. Well, we're just gonna draw. No upkeep treasure map. So this way we get to Glacial Fortress. Play Power Stone Shard. Pass the turn. Now we get to start scrying. We're going to have a lot of mana really quickly. Opponent. Getting in with Ballista. Sure. Down to 19. Ganti. Alright. Oh no. We only have one Assembler and one Paradox Engine. And two Ballista. Which means, theoretically, Ganti can take very important combo pieces that we will never see again. Cockwork Assembler. Uh, this is a tough one. We're gonna, we're gonna put it in our hand. We're gonna put it in our hand. The risk is they have like a doomfall or something, but hopefully that doesn't happen. So play Ether Hub. Play Power Stone Shard. Play Trophy Mage. And now we can probably figure out what they took with Ganti. Not a Power Stone Shard. Not Mirage Mirror. We have a Fumigate in hand. Glint Nest, Manipulators, Search. All right, looks like they took a treasure map. Yeah, opponent took a treasure map with Ganti. So grab a Power Stone Shard. And pass the turn. We might actually be in pretty good shape here. We're not that far away from winning with two Power Stone Shards. All right, that's fine. Kills Trophy Mage. Opponent wants to be the aggro. Gets in. I think we're roughly two turns away from winning, especially if our opponent taps out. So, treasure map. Planes to the bottom. Stop on our upkeep. Treasure map. Let's keep Inventors Fair. So, play Power Stone Shard. Play Inventors Fair. Sack Inventor's Fair. Oh, we got options. If we take Power Stone Shard, we have 12. All right, let's take Power Stone Shard. I think there's some argument to just taking Paradox Engine there. But as long as our opponent just taps out. Because the way they could fizzle the combo would be to kill the Cogwork Assembler. I don't think we have enough mana to win through a removal spell. So we're kind of hoping our opponent just taps out here. Opponent gets in. Down to 13. Whoo! All right, there's the tap out. And we definitely have the mana to just win the game now. So this should go pretty well. Play the island. Play Cogworker, uh, Cogwork Assembler. 
And let's see if our opponent knows the combo. Apparently not. Well, copy. A power stone jarred. Copy. A power stone jarred. And yeah, now we just get the infinite cogwork assembler kill. One more and we're breaking even. Yep, now we're good. Now we start gaining mana. And now we just got to do this for a while because to win the game, we do need a lot of mana. Copy. And copy. And copy. And copy. I guess we can glint nest crane to see if we hit a walking ballista. Let's do that. That would speed up the process. And Mirage Mirror. Not super helpful. All right. Well, back to the original plan. Copy. So now we just got to make enough mana to make enough Cogwork Assemblers. It actually doesn't take that long. The most time-consuming part of this combo is just the mana. But it's a fairly easy combo, even on Magic Online, which is not. Copy, 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 copy. And let's copy. Do some tapping. 94 is not enough. How much mana do we need for this? I guess you can technically make more mana if you just copy one and then keep tapping, but this feels like it's faster. And there's, it's not like we can fizzle, so it doesn't really matter if we do it the most efficient way. Copy. So seven to copy, we need 11 copies. All right, I think we got enough. I think we can go for it. So now, copy Cogwork Assembler and Cogwork Assembler. And it's just like Splinter Twin. <laughs> oh, this combo's so sweet. And it kind of works. It kind of works. Whoo. All right. All right, all right. One more. One more to win. Uh, Mono Black Control. What are we worried about? Kind of want Antiquities War in this matchup. Let's go down Manipulators. Go down... Let's go up Antiquities War. I think we just... I think we just brute force through our opponent's combo. Like, the way they fight us is with this card. So rather than trying to combo or counter their stuff, I think we just bring in Antiquities Wars and plan on just drawing enough cards and having enough finishers that we win eventually. Because with Antiquities War, we can just, like, flip a treasure map and win by beating down, which seems reasonable enough. What are we cutting, though? That's the, that's the question. I don't think we actually cut the combo. Maybe we just go down a couple Glitness Cranes. Don't seem very good against this deck. And now that we have four Antiquities Wars, I don't think they're as necessary. And, okay. On the draw, this hand's fine. Two lands, no white mana, but we got a treasure map to do some fixing. Got one Power Stone Chard and Antiquities War. So as long as we just hit our lands, it's pretty fine. All right, no duress. Getting it on treasure map would go a long way. Well, Fumigate might be good eventually. We'll see. Island go. So I'm for our opponent. And Ballistax. Yep. And Mirage. Well, play treasure map. Pass the... Another Swamp. And there's the Doomfall. All right, opponent's got options. Many, many options. Not taking anything too essential, though. Like, Power Stone Shard and Antiquities War are both really nice and helpful. But we can win if they Doomfall them. All right, takes a Power Stone Shard. Opponent gets it. And we're also, like, a little less reliant on Power Stone Shard. Keep Glacial Fortress. Untap. Play Glacial Fortress. Yeah, let's just get rid of Walking Ballista. Down to 18. Opponent pinks. Pass the turn. Well, come on, lands. Let's just keep hitting our lands. Opponent passing. Oh, that is good. Land. Glacial Fortress, that works. Play Glacial Fortress, play Mirage Mirror. I'm actually very curious how Mirage Mirror works with Antiquities War. Opponent plays a Swamp. Well, let's scry. Do some flipping. Ballista to the bottom. Land? Another Inventor's Fair. All right, whatever. We lose an Inventor's Fair. Play Antiquities War. 
Go digging. Grab a... Hmm. Let's say treasure map. I don't actually think we're trying to win with the combo here. I think we're planning on winning with Antiquities War. I think we actually start copying Antiquities War on our upkeep with Mirror Mirage. I'm not actually sure how this works. We're about to find out. I assume that it gives us a trigger, but... All right, Antiquities War. We draw planes. Get a treasure map. Get a, get a treasure map. Play a land. Play a treasure map. And yeah, I think there's pretty good odds that we get the Antiquities War kill. That's a lot of artifacts on the battlefield. Pass the turn. Oh, Mirage Mirror maintains the lower counter. So you could actually move it around? That's kind of neat. Opponent passes. And let's do it again. Copy Antiquities War. Gain a life. Ooh, and commit to memory? All right. I think that does it. Because now we can commit to memory for protection if we need to. Animate our artifacts. Go to combat. That's a lot of power and toughness. If our opponent has a removal, we can commit to memory. Frosca's Contempt. Let's put that back on top. And... Whoo! Power Stone to Zebler combo! We finish with a 4 1! With Power Stone to Zebler combo! <laughs> and, uh, and that does it! We got the GG's! Whoa! The deck, it works! It works! It is actually legit! We're feeding the children, we got some treasure chests to open! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Alright! Heading into that, I thought it was gonna be rough, but we just finished with a 4 1. Whew. Well, let's crack open our treasure chest, and uh, we can talk about it in the wrap-up, but that was a shockingly good performance for Power Zone Assembler combo, I have to say. So, all right, here we go. Four chests to open. Hopefully, we get something good. Uh, okay. Skitherix, not really good. Cabal Paladin, not really good. Mardu Strike Leader is our rare. Not very good. So far, so bad. Three more to go. Ooh, City of Brass Siege Gang Commander. Is City of Brass actually worth anything? It's been reprinted a million times, so it might actually not be Modern Master City of Brass. All right, let's 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 take a peek. Ooh, 3.36. That's not bad. And Siege Gang Commander, eh, it's also been reprinted a lot of times. Fragmentized, playable. Well, that's better than selling the chest, 3.36. 20 play points, Sandblast, Thalid, Omnivore. Well, last chance for glory. Last chance for glory. Let's get something sweet. Apocalypse Hydra. Coming soon in <laughs> Battle Bond. A Lich. This just never worked out. Initiate's Companion. Well, treasure chest, moderate. But deck, surprisingly good. 4-1 with Power Stone Assembler combo. And, uh... Yeah, well, we'll talk about it in the wrap-up, but that was an insanely good performance for the deck. Insanely good. Whoo, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So what did we learn this week about Power Stone Assembler combo for Standard? And the deck was great. We played in a league, and we ended up going 4-1, in one. so we actually were able to compete with the Standard format really well. So I have to say, heading into it, I was a little like, eh, I don't know if this is actually going to work. It seems really weird. It seems kind of slow. But the combination of Fumigate and Steal Away to stay alive, and tons of ways to find power Power Stone Shard made the combo actually pretty practical and pretty consistent to pull off. So I was very surprised by how good the deck was. There's some things that are a little bit weird. Icy Manipulator, I guess I see where it's going. You can like tap down lands to fight through counters, but I'm not sure that it's actually necessary. But the main game plan of just Glint Nest Crane, Trophy Mage, all these different ways to find Power Stone Shards, play Power Stone Shards, copy Power Stone Shards, go infinite, that actually happened very consistently. So we did get a little lucky along the way, hitting Fumigate at the right time against aggro, we're just digging for our Power Stone shards, but once you get used to the gameplay of the deck, it's just kind of like stall out, stall out, stall out, then all of a sudden you win the game, and it does really feel like a janky but fairly effective version of like copycat combo, for example, or even standard Splinter Twin, so while you got a lot of pieces, we have a lot of ways to find the pieces that we want. When you hear, oh, you need 
at least three or maybe four power stone charge, you're like, there's no way that's ever going to work. But when you consider how many ways we have of finding them, it actually works really well. So as far as criticism or things I would change in the deck, not sold on the icy manipulators. We sideboarded them out a lot. Probably not really necessary. The rest of the main deck felt fine. I could see playing Antiquities War in the main deck. There is a bit of a downside. So the downside of Antiquities War is it goes off whether we want it to or not. Like we hit that third lore counter, everything turns into creatures, whether we want them to be creatures or not, which potentially opens up our Power Stone shards, for example, to get hit by creature removal spells that otherwise wouldn't really do anything. But the upside is that it's a great way to just steal games. We did win some post sideboard games with Antiquities War that we were having trouble setting up the combo, but just Antiquities War, find artifacts, beat down with artifacts was enough to get the job done. So overall, I feel like the deck is pretty solid. I don't think you need any major changes. I would consider Icy Manipulator a flex slot that you can get rid of if you don't really want it. If you want to keep it, I guess it's fine-ish, but it's a little expensive, a little slow. But overall, the combo was sweet. The deck was sweet. We went 4-1. We got some treasure chests, so it was just, it was a sweet one. Very happy with how Power Zone Assembler turned out. So anyway, that's been Mudge Brew for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our Power Stone Assembler videos. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.